Do you ever feel like when you watch a YouTube video, it feels like it's kind of misleading you? Or at the very least, it's tricking you into feeling a certain way, but then not actually providing any real value? That, that's how I've been feeling recently when I look at uh, the current state of YouTube. Uh, it feels like when I try and do my research to come up with new content ideas, one, well, first off, obviously, it feels like a lot of stuff's already been done. So the space, even though there's new content creators coming into the platform all the time, it feels like things get kind of shrunken down and limited, which is a bit disappointing. You know, you don't always want to see uh, your choices be reduced and reduced because of all these new channels that are coming up about specific topics. I mean, YouTube itself is very much a kingmaker-based um, platform where once you're at the top, it's really hard to see any reason to stop being at the top unless there's some sort of external circumstance which might be kind of forcing you to do that. And then if there's like a bubble, then that'll obviously be filled by the, the second most popular thing for that. So there's no real way to really uh, surpass people who already have an established um following unless you do something pretty drastic or at the very least you come up with something that's so unique that you're able to grow at an immense rate uh you take a look at channels like uh pewdiepie you know or uh, you know markiplier and jacksepticeye they've been around for so long i keep using their names because they've been around for so long you know like smosh you know even though smosh corporatized itself and decided to stop being about making actual funny things and now they just kind of make so that's an interesting thing right sorry i just thought of it um it's weird how as channels get bigger, they seem to get almost too polished. Like, do you ever feel like you watch a channel and it's so, so polished that you realize that it doesn't even feel like the same channel anymore? I think that's kind of what, what my feeling was uh, with Smosh, because when they uh, essentially changed their format and hired people other than Ian and Anthony, it felt like they were really kind of doing a disservice to their brand. And that's something I hope I never end up getting to a point of doing. You know, I I make these YouTube videos all by myself. Everything I do is me. Uh, no help from anyone, pretty much, unless uh, they're featured in the video for, like, discussion or playing games. So, it, I, I don't know. I, I feel like on YouTube, as people create things that are more polished and more snazzy, a lot of times it, it can sometimes feel like, Maybe it's it's too polished. I don't, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm going nuts. But obviously, there's nothing wrong with polish. And if you're really good at editing and stuff, and you want to make a good experience for the viewer, we're not. not I'm not disagreeing with any of the those points. Uh, I'm just saying sometimes it feels a little too, uh, like a little too much. I don't know. Maybe maybe, uh, maybe that doesn't make sense. But the point is. Um, because of all the polish and neatness on YouTube, I've been noticing that with my own videos, I've been working really hard to try and make uh, things that at the very least are going to be entertaining to me, and I notice that my demographics tend to match my own, so uh, hopefully if something there's something I like, you guys would like it too. Uh, I really do want to be creating content that's actually entertaining for you guys. Um, I don't get a lot of comments on what my content actually is uh, as to whether or not I should keep making it or not, so I'm kind of doing this mostly in the dark, uh, which is a little unfortunate, but hey, you know, you, you make do with what you can. So, uh, like this video, for example, uh, of me talking over gameplay, you know, I don't normally make this kind of video just because I find that uh, these videos take me a lot of time to create. Uh, compared to other videos, which um, maybe have longer duration, but uh, have far less editing in them. Uh, but there's nothing wrong with editing, uh, you know, because I can edit something like this, and it doesn't take me too long. Regaining all the footage it took me about an hour to do, and then you have to spend another half hour cutting everything down and stuff. And then I got to record this over and over until something sounds smooth and correct. And that's kind of the beauty of YouTube, right? You get to do your own fun, make your own projects, and see where things take you, which which I think is really good. You know, because um, you look at channels like Mr. Beast where they're able to spend like ungodly amounts of money on videos that may or may not do well. Uh, it makes you kind of wonder if, you know, those videos are more or less successful because of how much money they spend. Now, obviously, you can make uh, videos like uh, Beluga did where all he did was just do Discord skits, you know, messages and stuff and added fun sound effects you know and you can blow up like that and i'm sure there's other new ideas that i'm probably missing and uh i don't know maybe it's because i'm getting too old now but <laughs> it feels like creatively I'm, I'm running out of ideas for what would kind of fit on the channel so i'm half tempted to go uh, work on another channel and in fact i'm already experimenting with a second channel um just to see how that would perform um but I don't know. <laughs> I'm probably going to, realistically, what I'll do is I'm going to set it up to do what it's supposed to do. And then at the end of the experiment, I will report back to you guys and tell you if it worked out. Or if not, uh, you can try and look it up, but you're not going to find it. Um, you're just not. 
although I challenge you to. And if you find it, feel free to leave a comment down below saying, hey, I found your channel. That's really cool. Um, because there's a lot of stuff to uh, talk about and, and not talk about that doesn't necessarily fit on the purpose of this channel, which ultimately is about entertaining you guys and also uh, helping out small YouTubers. You know, that's kind of what I want the channel to be about, is helping you small content creators feel like you have a place where you can get real advice that's actually going to be beneficial to you, like telling you guys, um, you know, how to make a good thumbnail. You know, I was really happy to actually show off how I make my thumbnails uh, for you. Um, and there's other techniques I want to show off, like how to use Windows Movie Maker to make something like this, so that way you don't have to buy an expensive editing software. Like, everything I do, I do with for free. So it's like when channels say, oh, I, I'm not going to be able to afford to keep making YouTube videos. It's like, well, no, I mean, you could make a YouTube video for free. Maybe it's not the highest quality of polish, but I'm sure you could still you know, make something. So that's where we swing back to the idea of like creativity and creating variety and making things you guys actually want to see. I'm not sure what I'm going to do for, uh, in the upcoming videos. Like I have no plan as of making this right now. I have no clue what I'm going to be doing. And I think that's actually really exciting because I'm going to try out something completely different and it'll either work or it will fail miserably and I won't make another video of that type. And then I'll try something different, you know what I mean? I think we're just going to keep uh, messing around and do something a little out of the box because I feel like things are getting pretty stagnant and I want to create more uh, vibrant and interesting content for you all because at the end of the day, right, you know, it's, it's our job as a content creator to entertain all of you. I mean, it wouldn't be very uh, entertaining if uh, I just did the same thing over and over. So we're going to probably do more discussion videos, uh, probably do more gameplay stuff, but uh, keep an eye out in the future. Make sure you subscribe and make sure you're able to get notified because uh, I'm, I'm going to be experimenting with something and I don't know if it'll uh, it'll be good or not. Uh, it might go really bad, actually, to be honest, knowing my track record, but uh, I guess there's no perfect way to predict something like that, especially in the current landscape. Uh, so anyway, guys, uh, I hope you all enjoyed. Um, I really do like making these videos, talking to you all. And again, there is uh, more content definitely on the way. We are not done <laughs> for sure. This isn't like a goodbye or, or anything like that. Um, but yeah, uh, really just uh, I hope you all had a really good time. As always, guys, I'm El Worthy. Be sure to subscribe and I will definitely be seeing you guys next time in the next video. Take care, everyone.